Hi, it's Dave Robison from PlantCoverCrops.com. It's May 12, 2011, and we're in a field of winter barley um, that was used as a cover crop that's also being used as a forage crop. And the reason for this is the dairy farmer was uh, confident that they were going to be um, needing forage, and uh, they, in fact, do need that forage. But the thing I want to note here is the fact that they've just got an absolutely beautiful stand of uh, this winter barley. It's uh, The variety is called Valor Winter Barley. It was uh, licensed out of Penn State University uh, where they did the breeding. And uh, it overwintered here in central Indiana beautifully. Uh, one of the interesting things about this field is it was so dry last fall uh, that when I came by here in late November it was very difficult even to row the barley. This had also had um, uh, uh, radishes that were planted in it but uh, it was planted uh, so uh, it was so dry after it was planted that none of the radishes uh, came up so that was unfortunate but at the same time uh, we've got just an absolutely beautiful stand of winter barley here. It's a multi-purpose crop uh, it can be used just as a cover crop, it can be used as a forage crop, and the other nice thing about it is it can be used as a, um, as a grain crop and fed to dairy animals as well. So it has a lot of flexibility, and uh, the nice thing is, is here before long, we're going to be able to find out what the value of this real nice forage is, and uh, be able to uh, see what kind of tonnage we had and so forth. We know that in areas like see out here in this field that, that uh, flooded, and uh, drown out. Obviously there's nothing we can do about that. Any cover crop would have drowned out. Any crop would drown out. The interesting thing about this also is, like say, it's May 12th. Most of the corn in this area is being planted um, this week. In fact, uh, saw many uh, hundreds if not thousands of acres that have been planted the last day or two. So this did not set back the uh, normal planting date you might say although this is not planted yet it should be here in the next day or so so again barley matures earlier than uh, wheat it's significantly taller than wheat at this time wheat's not even close to being able to be harvested for wheatledge uh, rye would be very similar to the barley other than the fact that the barley is going to have a better quality and the potential to be able to use for or be used for uh, the grain as well so we've got a beautiful stand of winter barley and again this variety is called Valor. Uh, it's an onless or nearly onless variety and um, it's something that uh, I think can be utilized for a lot of dairies as a cover crop to help hold on to manure and also to be able to produce either a grain or a forage or just a regular old cover crop that would be destroyed if they don't need the grain or the forage. Again, Dave Robison from PlantCoverCrops.com, Central Indiana, on uh, May 12, 2011.